out, and then um, Demacio's going back to the K1 Heroes, and holy moly, I'm, and I'm sure I'm forgetting wow. all kinds. Oh, uh, Tom Vaughn's having his fights that Brant Gibbs will be defending his title on. Oh, he's uh, the fight world. He's the, yeah, fight world. He's yeah. the 165-pound fight champ. world champion. Yeah, 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 so he'll be defending his title, uh, and... Uh, um, so that's the kind of you know Tom is basically our school too you know what I mean yeah. we're we're allied from the old days so uh, um, that'll be a great great fight card make sure everybody goes and, and supports the local uh, Tom's local show yeah and um, I'll be announcing by the way yes it'll be announcing. I will be announcing live in Albuquerque New Mexico so uh, you YouTubers can fly down here and watch the show. <laughs> that's right they're that's always absolutely. entertaining fights is yes. that Brant's first uh, defense. Yeah, he won the title this last fight, and yeah, this will be his first title defense. Absolutely, very cool. Yeah, he's he, Brant is a great. He loves two things: computer games and fighting, <laughs> and he'll do them both as long as you will let them. So yeah, he lives for those two things. Cool, cool. All right, well, Coach uh, Greg Jackson, thanks so much wait, for coming. Wait, wait. What? The kick? Oh, uh, the kick oh, around the world. <laughs> oh, kick. yeah, <laughs> the kick. You know what? Hold on. Why don't you turn the camera on yourself? We've got our uh, our video guy over here. His name is Danny Wynn, and uh, he's the guy behind the Say scenes with the Danny. camera. So, uh, yeah, Rashad's kick. Heard around the world. Did you see the soccer ball that the, the graphic people put out? I saw that. That was out? very, very smart. Yeah, that's, that was a gorgeous yeah. soccer ball. Uh, we're going to have to do something like where the guy's head explodes. Like uh, We're going to have to do some uh, some Mortal Kombat stuff yeah. where we, we impose, like computer animate the guy's the head, head exploding. Head yeah, it, I'll tell you, as a coach... Um, I was extremely happy because so now Rashad's knocked somebody out on the ground. Now he's knocked somebody out on the feet. So submission holes are next as far as I'm concerned. Let's yeah. show him we can tap him. Um, but uh, the uh, when he wasn't getting up, that had me a little worried. Not so yeah. much in a minute because, you know, I do this almost every week. Two minutes go by, and then I'm like, Dana, Dana, is, is he all right? Yeah. And Rashad's celebrating a little bit at first, and then we're all like, uh... Rashad, he's you still, killed him. Yeah, he's still out. Yeah, and that's our joke, right? One of our jokes in the dojo is uh, we don't just have to beat him; we got to kill him. Like Dan, Dan Higgins was saying earlier, that y your performance is really linked to it. So we're like, beating him's not good enough; we got to kill him. And then after this, we were like, uh, yeah, no more Let's killing jokes. Our, yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's <laughs> not gonna be funny anymore. Yeah, I so, would be. Uh, I'd be very surprised if that kick didn't make itself onto the highlight reel. You know oh, it's gonna play. be part of the highlight reel. Yeah, it was a. Uh, and you know, it's just showing Rashad's range. Here is a guy. That Think about from his Brad Ames, uh, Brad Imes fight to now. Think about what yeah. you've seen him do against yeah. Lambert and what he has the potential to do. He's on the road. He's uh, he's showing everybody what some of us saw from the beginning with him is that is just he's just got potential through the roof and yeah. he's really beginning to live up to. It. He's got a great work that work ethic. He's a great part of the team. He helps everybody out. So yeah, look for great things from him. Did that kid turn out to be okay, Sean? Yeah, oh, yeah, he was fine. He was fine. Um, uh, I know they carried him out on a stretcher, right? Yeah, he went out with like a neck brace and everything. I was, I, <laughs> wow. really, I was, I mean, I, it's a sport. It's a it's rough scary. sport, but you don't want to see scary. something like that happen. No, I wouldn't wish that on not, anybody. No. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, yeah, they, and Rashad is the same way. He was really concerned, but, but Dana, uh, at the press conference, said he was at the hospital and he was fine. And, um, you know, yeah, they're a real great organization, the UFC, so they take care of their guys. Oh, yeah, we've got a... We've got his blog here, and this is what this is what Sean Salmon said. He said the first round started. And we had we had a we had more of a feeling out process than I thought. As we were circling, I saw he was developing some sort of thought process. So I threw that karate kick. I didn't plan on doing that, and certainly didn't expect it to land. I just wanted to give him something to think about. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the crane yeah. is what he wanted him to think the, about. Yeah, that's Ralph right. Macchio. Wait a minute. Uh, <laughs> right. right. Uh, he said, the first round went well for me, except I was surprised that I couldn't keep him in the side mount. Rashad was getting his hand through across his chest. I've seen it before, but I was too late reacting to stop it. I give him credit for getting back to his feet. And then it goes back down. He goes down a little bit to talk. Anyway, the second round started, and Rashad landed an early punch to the left side of my face. I was actually seeing two of them. I made the mistake of circling away instead of forcing a clinch, a small mistake compared to the one that I was about to make. I knew I was getting too lazy with my jab, but I never thought Rashad would be able to land the kick like that. The next thing I knew, I was in the ambulance on the way to the hospital, very embarrassed. Yeah, poor guy. He's a real nice guy. Yeah. Um, the, uh, yeah, actually, he kept leaning as southpaws do sometimes when you're inexperienced fighting, uh, fighting. you'll lean a certain way. You know, lean in, you lean in. And Rashad actually saw him leaning. In between rounds, I told Rashad to take him down. Right. I wanted I wanted Rashad to get back into his rhythm and then go, but he was just leaning so bad. I mean, what are you going to do? I, that'd be like you know somebody just dropping their hand and saying hit me. So uh, yeah. he, that's what happened there. Is Rashad saw that opening and was able to to hit him as he leaned into the kick. So he had double power. He had Rashad who kicks right. like a horse, 
uh, and this guy coming do down, it. and bang, they met together. And, he landed and, it right on the button, man, right on the side. I saw it just straight, straight yeah. down the side of the jaw. Yeah, I went, like I said, it went from elation to major concern with me, and yeah. I'm glad he's all right, and he's gonna, he'll come back. And, you know, he showed great skills in that first round. He, he really came yeah. in wrestling he hard. He's a tough kid, man. He really is, so he earned his place there, yeah, I think. Yeah, he's a so, tough yeah, kid. No, he, you, I expect as he gets polished and uh, gets somebody with him that can get him real good technique and stuff, look for good things from him. Nice. Okay. All right, well, Coach, thanks for coming down and hanging out with us. We really appreciate it. It. And uh, everybody, if you want to email us, you can email us cagetalk at gmail.com or you can go to our MySpace page, myspace.com backslash cagetalk. If you want to download the podcast of this, you can go to 1047edgeradio.com and then click the Cage Talk link and you can download all this stuff or you can just check it out on YouTube and we'll be back next week with uh, Joey Villasenor for sure. We can get yep. him in here. Yep. We'll get Joey in here talking about his fight coming up with David Loazzo and who knows what else. So, uh, Greg Jackson, thanks for coming in on Cage Talk. Oh, it's a pleasure. All right, guys. We'll see you next time.